Hey, another famous old fly which has been transferred into a, a hair wing, and that's the genie. The genie would originally have been a low water fly tied with uh, a mallard wing, but this time here we're going to convert it into uh, a hair wing. So, first things first, we want a tag of silver oval. So, what I'm do here is I'm leaving a longer section out the front there, and I'm going to take this down to where my hook starts to split the. legs here as such. Put on two or three wraps and then come up between the legs and over the top. a golden pheasant topping here. And again I'm using a fairly flat one. Get a couple of wraps to tie that in. Now up to your cell phone length here but if you want to adjust the length on that basically just pull the loose end of it here. here what I'm going to do is slide it under and between the legs and then I'm going to wrap it down and it's going to be our rib. Now, uh, this is a two portion silk body, but uh, it's not evenly divided, so it's about one third or so yellow and the remainder black. So I've got my yellow portion here, I've doubled at the middle of my silk, and I'm going to take that down and tie it in place. And then if I sort of wiggle like that, it'll separate out the fibres within it and make it lay flat. And then wrap that down as far as our tail. And then come back up again. Now if you wanted to be very particular, you could actually tie the fly up to this point with white thread and that underneath the white will maintain it a sort of a more brilliant yellow. Wrap that back and then a little bit onto our yellow so there's no appreciable step between the two. Back before 
cut it off for a little bit of extra tie in security. Now, that's our silk body on. And if you want, you can take something smooth. in that. I'm going to take our tinsel. Wrap it forward. I like to try and get, uh, if I can, get one side where the tinsel crosses at the junction of uh, the silks. And usually the convention is about five turns for a potty. Don't know how to come up for that. you can either choose to put in put on a black hackle or you can put on a throat. Um, so I'll show you a throat what I've got here is uh, a larger feather and I just cut it off into like a V. Now I set that underneath Put a wrap to hold it in place. The uh, curvature of the feather, concave side of it, is towards our belly of our fly. And then, if I pull this through a couple of loose wraps, I can make a short. Or a long throat, or whatever length of throat I choose. And once you get it in place, then you just put a few wraps over it just to tighten it down. And I'm pulling this directly down so I can get my scissors in as tight as I can to pull that off. And there we have our throat in place. some description. So a couple of options here. I was looking at maybe putting it on with this which is a possum to give me a slightly more furry open type of a wing or squirrel or bucktail or something along the lines of this. This is a nice and dark sort of brown squirrel brown dyed squirrel. I suppose it's fairly approximating to a uh, bronze mallard type. So we'll go with it. Now some people will do very short, some people will go the full length of their tail, go about halfway down. So I've measured it up. Squirrel is one of those 
hairs that doesn't collapse and therefore it's very prone to pulling out of thread wraps. So just taking my dubbing needle, putting a slight little bit of super glue just on the tip of it. that up. Um, if you wanted you could put on jungle cock there. Uh, it's just a personal preference, you can do that if you want. Genie. 